Hello everyone, how is it going? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be reacting to every comedian's reaction to uh, Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. Uh, this is part two, so without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. With airplane peanuts. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Segura. Yeah! Yeah! What's up guys? Where are you at, New York? I'm in New York. I'm wearing this hat because my alopecia is acting up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, Tom. Um, I'm happy you're joining us because I've been seeing you on the internet. Has this become a thing, huh? Is this what Will Smith did? Do you feel like was an attack on all comedians and maybe setting a precedent for what you can do or jokes being uh, not accepted fuck, in the right way? Fuck that cuck. Let me tell you this, man. Right. The idea, the idea that your entitled ass thinks because your feelings are hurt you get to assault one of the all-time greats because you fucking feel and then the the cowards the spineless cowards that are in hollywood in comedy we have a list going of these fucking guys anybody who did not stand up and say some shit for chris rock we're gonna ruin your fucking life i just want you to know that. how come do you feel like that was an attack on all of comedy there it's what it is is that it's a display of entitlement it's a very powerful very wealthy influential star who just decided yeah i didn't like that i'm gonna smack you and then That's gets exactly to sit right. down collect his award get a, a round of applause enjoy his night it's insane it's like a gross exaggeration of you see it all the time I mean, you see entitlement everywhere and that was on full display for the world to see i have fucking zero respect for that bitch and i feel like more people need to come out and say it it's unacceptable it. i sent you that thing jamie about uh the will smith thing that's in the independent i oh, sent it to yeah. you a text message you showed it before this is, the pod yeah yeah jimmy Dore sent this to me it's like <laughs> what the fuck are you even saying here it says white outrage about will smith's slap is rooted in anti-blackness it's inequality in plain sight. <laughs> what? And it's in the Guardian. It's kind of depressing. Oh, it, uh, they just the get sucked into wokeness, yeah, man. Yeah, it's just kind of like... Performative pearl clutching. Hey, no. That was violence. If you think it, violence is cool, you need to tell me where that line ends. Is it yeah. just slapping? Can I kick someone in the face if I don't like what they say? Like, wh where does that end? You exactly. just knew that this incident that was between two guys... Also, they happen to both be African-American. At some point, there would be articles blaming white supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, dude, I'm almost impressed by the leap in logic where you're going like, yeah. dude, it's hats impressive. off. Yeah, it's it is impressive. impressive. That you're even it. going for it. Well, it took a solid 48 hours for someone to concoct <laughs> that. Like, they had to sit there. You ever see that fucking, um, there's a meme of a woman, and there's all these, like, calculations in the background. She's trying to, like, ponder something that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you, you seen those? That's them sitting there, like, trying to figure out how to put this and make it white supremacy. Yeah. <laughs> It's, no, really it's inequality in plain sight. It's, what the no. fuck are you saying? Quite possibly one of the most shocking moments in pop culture slash art history. I don't, you know, very few things leave me absolutely speechless, but it was funny. Somebody fucking wrote to me, was going like, I told you to do the fucking podcast to hear your reaction to the slap. Hollywood's made you soft. And I was like, <laughs> So you turned into my podcast to listen about gossip, <laughs> about an award, sh award show, and I'm the fucking yeah. one that's soft? That shit brought up a lot of shit for me. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond being a comedian. But, um, yeah, I will at some point. I just didn't want to be yet another person, you know, fucking typing in all capital letters, flipping the fuck out, screaming, yelling, and none of that's doing anything. For anybody. My name is Bert Kreischer, and I want to talk. I want everyone to just bring awareness to alopecia. This is my buddy Joe DeRosa. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are acting like you're fucking Tyson and Holyfield. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! 
And there's people who actually have the fucking balls to tell me. They're like, you need to stay out of business as it isn't yours. This is my business. It's my business more than it's your fucking business. So don't you think you can actually give me a lecture Tom, on what happens on a stage? Tom, you ever get into an uncomfortable situation like that with anybody? Because some of those corporate gigs I've heard from comedians are like the worst. So I assume these types of situations arise or no? I mean, I've never had that in particular happen. I've had people try to stop shows. Okay. Uh, I've had people who are like, that joke is you know, horribly tasteless, move on. As a comedian, you know, you just have to navigate it. Sometimes you just slam them or you, you figure out a way in the situation. You know, I've, I've been like, if you don't like this joke, you can fucking leave. Yeah. Which is honestly the best philosophy, I think, for, for comedy. I mean, yeah, I've had people, I've, I've been booed off stage. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it can go sideways. That's part of doing this long enough is that you're gonna have really bad fucking shows but <laughs> but there's no excuse for being like i don't like that joke therefore i get to assault you exactly it's, it's not the way That's it goes exactly you can't I'm let people just go around slapping people and you just you just this that is whether you think it's violence or not it's violence it's violence it's, it's violence it was a it was violence that happened on tv yeah it was violent um, I think comedians should stop hosting the Oscars so they just tank because it's the only redeemable quality about that circle jerk. Yeah. The only reason why anyone tunes in is to hear Ricky Gervais mm -hmm. or whatever just, exactly. yeah. you know, bring it down to earth and have some fun with it because otherwise we're just sitting there watching the most boring fake award show where studios pay for those awards uh, <laughs> did they really win it's a matter of taste they don't even have a comedy category go fuck yourself some comedians you can tell they operate on a level of attack and i would say the medium itself requires a certain amount of consent like comedy you have to go okay i'm coming here for a person to tell jokes at a time where there's increasing censorship around what can be said we're not querying what can be seen where an act of let's call it what it was violence will smith has admitted that himself can be broadcast around the world along with some quite aggressive invective at a time that people are very concerned around what jokes are able to be said it's interesting what is forbidden and what is allowed who's allowed to do what who's allowed to say what when i mean i'll just let you know if you come on my stage i'm not saying we know i can't jump i can't I'm not saying I can fight, but I'll bite your fucking face off. <laughs> You're fucked. I will disembowel you in front of your family if you come on my stage. So, oh, that's awesome. Uh, I would tell you to get tickets, but all my shit's sold out. I make fucking <laughs> shit. I actually sat down and had a long talk with my lovely wife last night about that shit took me fucking back. <laughs> Did took he get slapped? back and uh i gotta say the the way chris handled that moment was fucking unbelievable and the restraint that he showed because he starts to go like oh i could say and he and the fact that he didn't because it was lobbed over the net at that point um for the daryl dawkins break the backboard slam but then who knows what happens after that and i exactly. felt he chose the show in the event over you know, pride and ego and all of that stuff. So, um, yeah, at some point, you know. Ego can get you hurt. I'll sort it out, but I don't know. Whatever. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I have to say about the Oscars. Um, other than when Chris Rock comes and do, does a show in L.A., I'm definitely not missing that show. <laughs> <laughs> that's Christ. basically giving a green light to the pimp slap. To like what Will Smith did yeah. to Chris Rock, that yeah. is not a crime yeah. to do to your wife in Russia. Yeah. Chris Rock should have fucking hit him back. He should have jumped on his back as soon as he turned his back <laughs> like that. <laughs> that just gets filtered yeah. through an MMA brain. You 100%. Just gotta, you don't dude, turn, take his back. You don't, listen, man, here's the reality. You don't slap a man in the face and then turn your back and walk away unless you should have never slapped that man in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Because you're only slapping a guy who you know can't slap you back. That's why he slapped him, yeah. That's the only reason why he slapped him and then turned his back and walked yeah. away. Look, if he slapped him and then stood his ground and waited for a return and was ready to go to war, yeah. that's one thing. Yeah. But when you slap a man and you turn around and go back to your seat, <laughs> that is a sure sign you should not have slapped that man. Yeah. It's not fair. I just had this image of a movie like The Karate Kid where Chris Rock just shows up in Austin. He's like, hey, Joe, 
I was thinking to my friends last night. I was like, imagine if Chris Rock had a just a year of solid jujitsu training under his belt, and as soon as took his back, as soon as Will Smith turns his back, he just leaps and takes his back and just squeezes Will out before the fuck before the security guards can get to him. Will Smith goes out, wipes that smirk off Will Smith's face. Will Smith, you are a big, huge pussy cuck. I know you were defending your wife because of all other things going on, and a lot of people like she has alopecia. I don't even know if she does because how. Hollywood people are liars, so she may or may not, because she looks smoking hot with a shaved head, okay? And the G.I. Jane joke, yeah, it wasn't the best, but hey, it was good enough. It's hard to be funny in that situation. So I don't know if Jada Pickett-Smith has alopecia weeshy. She might, or she may have just wanted to shave her head, and she said, listen, just in case the people don't like this, I'll just say I have alopecia. They're all fraud pieces of shit, okay? And the fact that Will Smith was not arrested after he got slapped is white privilege. Will Smith is white privilege. It's just what it is. And I'm telling you, no, if anybody, if anybody thinks that it's okay to rush the stage when a comic makes a joke, it's not. Andrew Schultz had a three minute bid on, to open his flagrant two on Will Smith and Chris Rock. And it was, I mean, it cut, I mean, it was. After the vicious attacks on Chris Rock last night, we think it's only right here at the flagrant yeah, two I'm podcast right. Gina, to defend the comics honor to tell jokes. So here we go. If you didn't see the Oscars, Chris Rock got himself in a hairy situation. <laughs> he shined a light on female alopecia, while Jada's head shined a light on everything else. <laughs> Chris was making fun of Jada's baldy, but seriously, how is Will supposed to get turned on if she has a woman's haircut? Now, I'm not saying that he's gay. Wow. He likes women, specifically ones that swim for pen. Holy shit. All I'm saying is last <laughs> night wasn't the first time Will fondled another man to make Jada happy. Okay. Okay, and Will's chill. hand that struck Chris Rock was actually a metaphor for his relationship with Jada. Open when he wanted it to be closed. <laughs> but let's be honest. Last night, Will Smith looked like he was from the streets of Philadelphia. And Jada looked like she was from the movie. Oh, now, <laughs> after all that drama, Will Smith still took home an Oscar. I'm talking about the award, not a Mexican guy to fuck his wife while he walks in the oh, corner. Wow. Okay. You got wow. Now, to clarify, wow. Will won the Oscar for Best Actor. Oh, People shit. were saying it was for the Lifetime Achievement Award. And no, that's not it. That Oscar goes to the plumber that unclogged Jada's shower drain. <laughs> 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 now, oh now <laughs> I am tired of people not giving Jada enough credit. Okay, it was actually Jada that helped Will get in character for King Richard. Because when she gives blowjobs, her head looks like a bouncing tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up to Will, okay? Give it up to Will Smith. He is the only person to be recognized by the Motion Picture Academy and the Citizen app on the same night. <laughs> and to everyone saying Will was probably under the influence, no. Okay, he doesn't drink or do drugs. This is the only time he's ever smoked a rock in his life. <laughs> now, don't feel bad for Chris Rock, okay? He was finally part of a hit white people will watch. Oh <laughs> Give Chris Rock some damn credit, okay? He took that smack like a champ. And next year, he's going to be ready, okay? He'll have more bobs and weaves than Jada's wig collection. <laughs> now, a lot of people are saying this never happened during Oscars So White. Exactly, okay? The white Oscars are mind-numbingly boring, or as Jada would call it, a relationship with Will. Oh, so, shit. I think we can all admit this was shocking, okay? Because if there was gonna be one chick at the Oscars with a hair loss disease that doesn't understand humor, I would assume it'd be Amy Schumer. Oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> Will, oh God. let this be a lesson to you. If you wanna body. keep your wife's name out of other people's mouths, make sure to keep your hands off comedians. Look, dude. It's wild that that guy is getting away with that. And I just, you know, it's just entitlement. I mean, you know, it reminds me, I used to live in L.A. And you'd be, uh, you'd be like on Beverly or Rodeo. And you see these people in like Bentleys, double park, or be like in a handicap zone. And they would, and then a parking enforcement person would be like, hey, you can't park here. And then the person in the Bentley goes, yeah, there's no spaces. <laughs> and you're like... Yeah, fuckface. That's what happened. Like, <laughs> go, go find a place to park. Yeah. And sometimes the person would get intimidated and be like, okay. And then sometimes they'd be like, I don't give a fuck. Here's your ticket. 
And that's what Will Smith needs. He needs a big old fucking parking ticket. <laughs> How and arrogant are you to think that you deserve to go through life with no one ever saying anything that you don't agree with or like. I, I want people to stop saying that joke's offensive. Yeah. I want them to start saying I found it offensive because you've got to own the emotion because that's all it is. You're yeah. just telling me how you feel about it. Yeah. There's nothing and intrinsically offensive about this joke. Listen, apparently they exactly. worked it out. Like, uh, I, I read that they talked and Will Smith made a, a statement and Chris Rock even apologized. And apparently they talked backstage and worked it out, which is the best. I don't think Will Smith should go to jail. I don't no. think any of that stuff should happen. I don't think they should take away his Academy Award. I think he knows it was a foolish act. Everybody else knows. And I think it's one of those learning experiences for the world. It's like a, a teachable moment, right? Like the whole world can see that we put stars and celebrities up on pedestals, but they're just human beings. And sometimes human beings get pushed to the point where they do something irrational. Right. And that's what he did. He just did something totally irrational that he's completely embarrassed by. More so, that was every comedian uh, reaction to Will Smith slapping Chris Rock part two. And you know, uh, Tom Segura is the one I agree with the most because he's the only one he's saying, he said you can't just fucking get away with it because it is literal privilege. He said white privilege, but yeah, sure, whatever you want to call it, it's privilege at the end of the day. Like, uh, what do you call it, George Carlin once said, you don't have rights, you have privileges. That's exactly what it is. And that's ex what it is. And what Joe said is somewhat okay. I somewhat uh, go with it, but I don't agree with it. So that's just my fucking opinion, do you know what I mean? Just so uh, I agree more with Tom Segura than I do with Joe Rogan, but Joe made it clear as well. If they two, them two worked it out, that's fine. That's perfectly fine for them to no problem there. That's it, sorted. It's the, what do you call it? Uh, not right thing to do or mature thing to do. Let's, okay, shit happens, fuck it. Let's just move on. You know what I mean? That's what it, what it was. And that's that's why I love this. Every comedian have their own opinion, uh, and everybody was somewhat on the same track. You just don't hit the fucking comedian. That's it. That's that's all it is at the end of the day. That's what I wanted to see exactly, and that's exactly what I got. And one thing I watched earlier today was that uh, Jada uh, Jada said that she. Uh, she literally threw Will Smith under the bus by saying she said she sh he shouldn't have hit Chris Rock and we both agreed to it. Like, what the fuck, bitch? You literally threw your husband, well, so-called husband, under the bus. You know what I mean? What a fucking bitch. That pissed me off as well. But still, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.